All right, good job. Okay, just repeat after me. A'udhu Billahi. A'udhu Billahi. I can't hear you properly. I don't know. Yeah, I can't hear you. Did you change your device? Yes. Okay. Then please speak loudly. Come closer to your device and say, A'udhu Billahi. Minash Shaitan Ir Rajim. Minash Shaitan. Okay, on on your Apple uh, iPad, just uh, can you see? Uh, can you please come to the voice settings? Uh, okay. Yeah, in in the voice settings, uh, there will be there will be a setting called input sensitivity or sensitivity. Mm -hmm. uh, just turn it off. Turn the button of sensitivity off. Where is input sensitivity? Wait. Uh, input input mode. Or auto sensitivity. Auto sensitivity. Just turn it off. Yeah, I turned it off. All right. Anything else? No, nothing. Okay, just repeat after me. A'udhu billahi. A'udhu billahi. Minash shaitan ir rajim. Minash shaitan ir rajim. Bismillahir Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Rahmanir Rahim Okay, good job. All right, rules of studying. Do not look here or there. Look at the screen. Read loudly. Don't read in a low voice. Read slowly, don't read fast. Whatever you read, keep it in mind too. Do the assignments daily. Whatever you study becomes your assignment too. Okay, we don't use force in soft letters. Hard letters are read with force. In heavy letters, there is an ah sound. Light letters don't have ah sound in them. Okay, Hayan, you tell me, which letter is this? Aleph. Okay, Asam, you tell me, which letter is this? Aleph. Okay, Taha, which letter is this? Hmm, Hayan, which one is this? Ba. Asam, which one is this? Ba. Taha, which one is this? Hmm, Hayan, which one is this? Ba. Asam, which one is this? Ba. Taha, which one is this? Ta. Ta. Where do we touch our tongue in ta? Taha, you tell me. Uh, taha, I cannot hear you. Can you please tell me? Where do we touch our tongue in ta? Ta. Um, on the hill. Yeah, on the hill. Good job. Okay, Hayan, which letter is this? Ta. Hmm, Esam, you tell me, which one is this? Okay, Taha, you tell me, which one is this? Taha, are you there? Sa, uh, ta <clears throat> Taha, your voice is always the lowest. Can't hear you properly, man. Hello. I'll speak up. Sa. Yeah, sa. Where do we touch our tongue in sa, taha? You tell me. Uh, uh, upper tooth. Yeah, edge of the upper tooth. Good job. Okay. Hayan, which one is this? Dream. Esam, you tell me. Which one is this? Dream. Taha, you tell me. Which one is this? Dream. Yeah. 
Good job. Hayan, you tell me, which one is this? Ha. One more time, please. Make sharper, make it louder. Ha. That's better. Uh, Aisam, you tell me, which one is this? Ha. Make it more sharper. Ha. Ha. That's better. Taha, you tell me, which letter is this? Ha. Where do we read ha from? Taha, you answer me. Um, upper, um, middle throat. Middle throat, good job. All right. Okay, Hayan, which one is this? Ha. Good job. Esam, you tell me, which one is this? Ha. Taha, you tell me, which one is this? Ha. Where do we read this letter from? Um, upper throat. The upper throat. Good job. Brilliant. Okay, Hayan, which letter is this? Dan. Esam, you tell me which one is this? Dan. Taha, you tell me which one is this? Dan. Okay, Taha, you tell me where do we touch our tongue in dal? Dan. At the hill. Good job. Hayan, you tell me which one is this? Dal. Okay, where do we touch our tongue in dal? Uh, the upper back tooth. Not the back tooth. The upper tooth edge. Tip of the tongue will be touching at the edge of the upper tooth. All right, Esam, you tell me which letter is this? Esam can't he cannot hear you, Ben. Again. Zal. Zal. Okay. Zal. Okay, Taha, you tell me which one is this? Loudly now. Uh, you are. I think you are sitting far away. Sit close to the device, please. Yeah. Yeah. Zal. Good job. Okay. <clears> Hayan, <throat> which one is this? Ra. Good job. Okay, uh, Assam, you tell me which one is this? No. Taha, you tell me which one is this? No. Good job. Hayan, you tell me which one is this? Za. Okay, Assam, you tell me which one is this? Za. Taha, you tell me which one is this? Za. Za. Okay, Taha, you tell me, where do we touch our tongue in za? Nowhere. Nowhere, good job. Okay, let me wash my hands. Just once, uh, just wait for 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, Hayan, which letter is this? Seen. Good job. Uh, Assam, you tell me, which one is this? Seen. Taha, you tell me, which one is this? Seen. Taha, you tell me, where do we touch our tongue in seen? Nowhere. Nowhere. Good job. Brilliant. Okay. Hayan, which one is this? Sheen. Good job. Assam, you tell me which one is this? Sheen. Taha, you tell me which one is this? Which one is it? Um. Sheen, yeah. Okay. 
Hayan, you tell me which letter is this? Chod. Okay. Uh, Asam, you tell me which one is this? Sam. Taha, you tell me which one is this? And Sam. Speak loudly, can't can't hear you, man. Come on. Sod. Sod. Say sod. 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 Yeah. Taha only you read. Sod. Sod. Okay, Taha, you tell me where do we touch our tongue in sod? Upper back. Oh my God, don't give me a heart attack, man. It's the backside of the lower teeth. Yeah. So where do we touch our tongue in sod? Tell me again, Taha. Um, lower teeth. Yeah, the lower teeth backside. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Hayan, which letter is this? Ta. Ta. Asam, you tell me which one is this? Ta. Ta. Okay, and uh, Taha, you tell me which one is this? Ta. Okay, Taha, you tell me where do we place our tongue in Ta? Ta. Um. Ah. Uh. Hell. Yeah, at the hill. Good job. Hmm. Hayan, you tell me which one is this? Ta. Good job. Asam, you tell me which one is this? Ta. Make it more softer, please. Asam, tell me which one is this again. Softer, please. Ta. Wow, that's better. Taha, you tell me which one is this? Ta. It is Ta. Make it more softer, please. Ta. Law. That's better. Taha, you tell me where do we place our tongue in law? Um, lower teeth or backside? Oh my god, you killed me, man. Come on. Backside of the upper tooth, man. Not the lower one. That is sod where we touch the backside of the lower tooth. That's the letter saw. This is law. This is a different letter. In it, we place the tongue. At the back side of the upper tooth. All right, Hayan. This letter is called Ain. Say Ain. Ain. Yeah, Ain is a deep letter, which means that it comes from the middle throat, the place from where the letter Ha is read, the same place the letter Ain is read from. Ain is a light letter. It is not a heavy one. It does not have the aw sound in it, but it is a deep letter. It comes from the middle throat. Okay, Asam, you tell me which letter is this? Ain. Taha, you tell me which letter is this? Ain. Taha, you tell me from where do we read the Ain from? Um, middle throat. The middle throat. Good job. All right. Okay, Hayan. The next letter is Goin. Say Goin. Goin. Again, Goin. 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 That's better. Goin comes from the top throat. It has an R sound inside it. It is a heavy letter and it is a soft letter. We don't use force and it comes from the top throat. The same place where the letter Kha is read. Now, there are some similarities between Kha and Ghoin and there are some differences. First of all, we will talk about the similarities. Similarity number one. Ghoin and Kha comes from the same place, which is the top throat. Secondly, Kha is also a heavy letter and Ghoin also is a heavy letter. Now the difference. Kha is a hard letter while Ghoin is a soft letter. This is the difference between these two. 
This will be kha se kha. What are you guys laughing? Kha. 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 And this one is ghain. Ghain. Yeah. Asam. Which letter is this? You tell me. Ghain. Okay. Asam, you tell me. What are the similarities between kha and ghain? They both come from the top throat. Mm -hmm. and, and they both and they both have uh, they both um they both start with huh? no they both are heavy letters yeah they're both heavy letters okay what is the sign of a heavy letter um oh it has the sound oh good job what is the sign of a light letter um there is no R in light letters. Yeah, good job. Okay, so what is the difference between Kha and Ghain? Difference? Yeah. One is red with force and one is red without. Yeah, good job. Which one is red with force and which one is not? Mm -hmm. Um, um, wait. Law is red with um, in no force and sign. Well, no. Ha is red with force and sign is red with no force. Okay, all the three of you. Did you read the PDF file which I sent? No, no, no. Books are there to read, not to decorate them in your drawing room. The PDF file which I have sent you is there for you to review it, to read it so that the concepts are instilled in your minds. All the three of you, did you watch the recording, lesson recording or not? Yes. yes. Okay. Lesson recording, the watching of lesson recording is also necessary. But reading the PDF file and review the previous things which we have already read is also necessary. Okay, <clears throat> this way, inshallah, you will remember all the things and you will be able to answer me fluently. Okay, Taha, you tell me, which letter is this? Um, Taha, Rain. yeah, Ghain. Okay, Taha, you tell me, where do we read the letter Ghain from? Top what? Um, throat. Yeah, top throat. Brilliant. Okay, Taha, you tell me, what are the similarities between Kha and Ghain? Um, I know the red, red word. Can't understand you, man. He said one is red with force and one is not red with force. Okay, uh, I am talking about similarities, not about difference. Oh, um, well. they're, they're both in the... Cannot understand you, man. Cannot hear no, you. No, well. he, said, he said they're both red from the top throat. Yeah, that's good job. And what is the similarity number two? And they both are heavy. Yeah, they both are heavy letters. Good job. What is the difference between Kha and Khoin? One is red with force and one is not. Yeah, good job. One is red with force and one is not. Which one is red with force? Come on, come on, yeah, Kha is the letter which we read with force, okay, Ghoin is a soft letter, Kha is a hard letter, all right, hmm, okay, Hayan, this letter is called Fa, say Fa, 
far. Now, the upper tooth, your upper teeth will be touching the inner side of the lower lip, the inner wet area of the lower lip. Okay. Yeah. Here, can you see the finger here? At this spot, the upper tooth will be touching here. And then you will say the letter fa. Say fa. Yeah, fa. Fa. Yeah, the sound of fa, the, the fa sound of fa should be very prominent. It should be very clear. Say fan. Fan. Far. Far. So the f sound, the f sound of fa should be very prominent it should be very clear so it is fa 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 fa, fa. fa. okay asam you tell me which letter is this fa 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 yeah that's better fa fa that's better. Fa. Fa. Okay. Taha. You tell me which letter is this? Fa. Fa. Good job. So the letter fa. Where do we place? Uh, where do we place our upper teeth in the letter fa? You tell me. Taha. Yeah. Inner side area of the lower lip. The wet area of the lower lip. The inner area of the lower lip. Say fa again. Taha. Fa. That's better. Good job. Okay. Both of you guys, you can go now. Your time is over. It's Hyan's turn now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hayan, just repeat after me. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Make sure that the zal is soft. It does not, it should not resemble the letter za. It should remain dal. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. All right, just repeat after me. Summa. Summa. Where do we read the letter sa from? Where do we touch our tongue in the letter sa? Uh, on the top tooth edge. Good job. Okay, what is the name of the sign above the letter sa here? Uh, uh. Shada? No. It's Dhamma. Say Dhamma. Dhamma. Yeah. What's the sound of Dhamma? U? Yeah. So, what is the name of the sign above Meem? The sign above Meem? Yeah. The Shada? W Shadda. Shadda. Say it again, Shadda. Shadda. What's the name of the sign above Shadda? Kasra. No, Kasra is below. It's it's on the top. This is Fatha. Say Fatha. Yeah, Fatha. Say Fatha. What's the what's the sound of Fatha? 
Ah. Ah, that's better. Okay, when meme has a shadda on it, which rule applies there? Uh, What's the name of the rule which applies when meme has a shadda above it? The gunna rule. Yeah, gunna rule, good job. What do we do in gunna rule? Uh, we make it two seconds longer. We don't make it two seconds longer. We press the meme for two seconds. Making something longer uh, can mean many things. For example, it can also be said that we are going to stretch the meme for two seconds. But stretching is a different thing and pressing is a different thing. To be more specific, you have to remember that in Ghunna, we press the meme for two seconds. For how long? Two seconds. And what do we do with the meme? Uh, we press two. it for two seconds. Yeah, we press it for two seconds. So it only works. Only works with what? Does it? It works. You only have to press it for two seconds with meme and noon. Yeah, both of meme and known, if any of these have a shadda on it, we press them for two seconds. In the case of meme, we close our lips for two seconds. Like thumm, in this sound, the thumm part is the gunna part. And ma is meme fatha ma. Thumm part is the gunna part and meme fatha ma is ma so it's thumma thumma okay and in the case of noon if there is shadda on noon then what we are gonna do we are going to press the tip of the tongue at the roof of the mouth and we will keep uh, it touched to the roof we will keep it stuck to the roof for two seconds so in this case the word will be in in yeah that's that's the gunna of noon and this is the gunna of meme are you getting my point yes yeah okay kalla 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 yeah if any letter has a fatha on it, repeat after me the statement. If any letter. Yeah. Say it, say it, repeat after me the statement. If any letter. Any letter. Has a fatha on it. A fatha. And next to it is alif without any sign. And next to it is alif without sign. Then we stretch that letter with a fatha for one second. Then we stretch that letter with a fatha for one second. That is called alif madda. That is called alif madda. Alif madda and standing fatha are the same things. Alif madda and standing fatha. Standing fatha are the same thing. The only difference is visual. The only difference is visual. So, that will be kalla. <laughs> That would be Kalla. 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 Yeah, Lam has a tashdeed. That is why we are pressing the Lam for one second. Now, this is not Ghunna. Ghunna is only applied on Meme and Noon if they have Shadda. If any other letter has a Shadda, we press that letter for one second. If, however, the Shadda is on Meme or Noon, we press that for two seconds. This is the difference. So, we are pressing the Lam, but we are pressing it for one second. And then we are stretching the la for one second also because of the alif madda rule. So this is kalla. Kalla. Sa. Repeat after me. Sa. 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 Ya. Ya. Yeah. Ya yeah. yeah will be connected with ayn because of the sukun. 
and ein should be deeper. Ja. Ja. Saya. Ja. Saya. Saya. Sa ja. La. Saya. Ja. La. No, no. Only say la. La. Now say saya. La. Saya. La. Mu. Mu. Now say saya. La mu. Saya. La mu. Now say moon. Moon. Saya. La moon. Saya. La moon. What does this circle mean? Uh, Sada. What does this circle mean? Uh, it means the end of uh, the one sentence. Good job. And what is the meaning of the number written inside it? That means the amount of sentence. Yeah, good job. The number of sentence. So this is verse number five or ayah number five or sentence number five, whatever you may call it. What happens when a sentence is finished and we are stopping? What happens to the fatha of noon here? What does it turn it's, into? The fatha of noon? Yeah. What? Oh, it's, it it, uh, it uh, turns into a shadda. No, it, it turns into sukoon, not shadda. Shadda is this sign. And this sign is sukoon. This sign is what? Sukoon. Yeah. So the fatha of noon will turn into sukoon when we stop here. Are you getting my point now? Yep. Hmm. What does sukoon do? If a letter has a sukoon on it, we connect the previous letter with it. Okay? Okay. So meme here will be connected with wow. And same is the case with noon here when we are stopping. That is why we said moon. We didn't say moon, but instead we say moon. So now it is saya la moon. Saya la moon. Now read these three words separately. Summa. No. Summa. Press the meme for two seconds. Summa. No. Kal. Press the meme more. Summa. Yeah. Kalla. So, what about Alif Madarul on La? Stretch, stretch the stretch the La for one second, please. Tumma. Kalla. 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 Hmm. Summa. No, leave Summa alone. Just say Kalla. 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 Yeah, Kalla. Kalla. Hmm. Now the third one. Saya Lamu. Good job. Again. Summa. Yeah. Kalla. Yeah. Saya alamu. Brilliant. Good job. A. A. Lam. Lam. Alam. Alam. Naj. Naj. Yeah. Now there are five letters. If they have sukoon on it, we apply the kalkala rule. Now I will explain what is kalkala. First of all, keep these five letters in mind. Say kof. Kof. Ta. 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 Ba. Jim. Jim. Dal. Dal. Kof to ba jim dal. Kof 
ta da jim dal these are the five letters these are called kalkala letters what are they called kalkala letters yeah have you ever thrown a ball on a wall yes what happens to a ball when you throw it with force it bounces back it bounces back kalkala means the bouncing back of the sound the echo or the echo mm -hmm. when a sound returns that is called kalkala so what is kalkala explain to me kalkala it's basically when the sound echoes yeah so here we read lum say lum lum but here we said naj naj we did not say naj we said naj and here we said lum we did not say lum so can you feel there is a difference between the connection of lam and meem with the sukoon yeah. and noon and jim with the sukoon can you feel the difference between meem and jim here yes this is because of the rule of kalkala we are not applying kalkala on meem because meem is not one of the kalkala letters but we are applying the kalkala on jim so what is the kalkala sound on jim here is the a uh sound say a uh. uh. yeah so naj is without kalkala and naj is with kalkala are you getting my point yes now say naj naj no only naj naj yeah this is not kalkala and now say naj 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 that's kalkala the a uh sound at the end is kalkala can did you feel the kalkala ness here yeah good job a ah. a ah. naj a ah. naj naj a ah. naj a ah. lil 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 naj a lil naj a lil naj a lil naj a lil ar 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 naj a lil ar naj a lil ar wa wa naj a lil ar wa Okay, in the letter wad, the left side of your tongue will touch left roof of the mouth. We will explain. Uh, we will go to the details of this letter, inshallah, when I will be teaching you along with your brothers at the very end of the alphabets. After the letter ya, we will discuss this letter because it needs some details. just keep it in mind uh, for the time being that try to touch your left side of the tongue on the left roof of your mouth try to say wa is wa yeah for the time being that is good enough so naj alil ar wa naj alid ar wa yeah me say me Me ha ha me ha me ha da da. If the last letter of a word has a double fatha on it, then what happens is that at the end of the verse, when we are stopping, one fatha is removed and that letter is stretched for one second. so it that is why instead of saying miha dan we are saying miha da se miha da miha da miha da miha da yeah this rule only applies on double fatha if there is any other sign like single fatha it will always turn into sukoon 
Okay. Or if there is a double kasra, then also it will turn into sukun and double dhamma that will also turn into sukun. However, in the case of double fatha, one fatha is being removed and one fatha remains and that letter is stretched for one second. That is why we are saying miha da. Miha da. That's better. Alam Adam Najalil Arwa Najalit Arwa Mihada Mihada You read it now Alam Najalil Arda Mihada Arwa Arwa it's a heavy letter. Alam. Alam. Naj'alil arwa. Naj'alil arwa. Mihada. Mihada. Good job. Wal. Wal. G. G. Wal G. Wal G. Ba. Ba. Wal G. Ba. Wal G. Ba. La. 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 Wal G. Ba. La. Wal G. Ba. La. Yeah, remember we discussed the Alif Madha rule today. If a letter has a fatah on it and next letter is alif without any sign, we stretch the letter with fatah for one second. That is why we are stretching the ba here because ba has a fatah on it and alif is next to it without any sign. That is why we are saying ba. Are you getting my point? Yes. Yeah. Wal jibala. Wal jibala. Wal jibala. Wal jibala. Wal jibala. Wal jibala. Aw. Say aw. 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 Yeah. Ta. Ta. Aw. Ta. Aw. Ta. Da. Da. Yeah. Now you have to keep it mind. Keep it in mind that ta will be a little bit it is a soft letter but dal is more softer okay. okay then now you will have to differentiate between the two sounds since we are stopping here because of the ending of this ayah one fatha of dal is being removed and one fatha remains and we are stretching it for one second so auta auta Da Da Au Ta Da Au Ta Da Au Ta Da Au Ta Da That's better Wal Jibala Wal Jibala Au Ta Da Au Ta Da That's better You read it now and wal jibala al tada au tada au tada au tada au tada au tada au tada that's better good job wa Wa ho Waho Waho Lako Lako Waho Lako Waho Lako Waho Lako No, we are applying Kalkala on cough. Remember cough, to, ba, jim, dal. Whenever one of these letters have a sakun, 
we apply the kalkala, the echo sound or the echo sound or the echo whatever. So yeah. in the case of cough, we will produce the uh sound at the end. <laughs> Not luck, baby. Luck, say luck. Luck loudly, can't hear you, man. Luck. Luck. Yeah, waha luck. Waha luck. Waha luck. Waha luck. Waha ha. Read the ha properly from the top through the ah sound should be there. It should be harder. Waha luck. Waha luck. Waha luck. Waha luck. Na. Na. Wahalakana. Wahalakana. Known as a standing fatha on it. We call it standing fatha. What it is called? Standing fatha. In standing fatha, the a ah sound is there, but with one second of stretching. So we are stretching the na for one second. If there is only fatha, then it will be noon fatha na. But in case of standing fatha, it is noon standing fatha na. So Wahalakana. Wahalakana. Kum. Kum. Wahalakana. Kum. Wahalakana. Kum. Az. Az. Wa. Wa. Az. Wa. Az. Wa. Not az. No calcula on za, please. Az. Wa. Az. Wa. Ja. Ja. Azwaja. Azwaja. All right. First, read this word. What? 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 Hmm. Next. Azwaja. That's better. Azwaja. Azwaja. Okay. Now I would rather you, uh, all of you guys, you submit the assignment too early without watching the video. Please don't do that. First watch the recorded lesson, then submit the assignment so that uh, your concepts are more clearer. Are you getting my point? Yes. Okay, that's better. Now, after watching the recorded lesson, just uh, read all the verses from verse number one till verse number eight. Are you getting my point? Yes. Well, that's it. 